Log recording, continuation, 12 after 2 in the morning, West Coast time. I'm not even live awake yet this morning. Okay, so the Hamas, uh, Israeli war is still continuing. And we still have pushback of what's going on back there. And... Apparently both sides are getting tired of it, but maybe Netanyahu is not. He's still trying to push it. Hamas is trying to go for a deal of saying, okay, just pull back your forces. We'll release the hostages. And Netanyahu is going, no. You know what gets to me at this point over here is we're getting related to other uh, stories that are freaking me out just as much. That we got Iraq being bombed again or, or different air bases or different military outposts where small amount of uh, military forces are there are getting nailed. Three soldiers getting killed. And we have Pre President Biden just saying, okay, we got we to gotta respond. And the group that Biden's going after seems to be I'm saying seems to be sponsored by Iran. Uh, Iran's going, no. We're not doing these guys. <clears throat> so that's getting real crazy out there. Since we've already had missile attacks over the last several weeks. On shipping. On, for, on uh, military forces. Including missiles heading over to, towards Israel. A major Middle Eastern, uh, Middle East conflict going on with U.S. forces and other countries. We've got politics happening right now that Congress can't get off its dead ass to get shit going. They can't. They can't make up their minds whether or not they actually want to fund or not. <clears throat> they're going to be making a, a complete political suicide pill regarding the border patrol, re regarding the border situation over here. And in the process, we've got nut jobs traveling all the way across the middle, uh, from the East Coast to the southern border of Texas to make a, a political point or try to bolster up their own damn egos. Gets even worse is when we get other news stories that are bringing out the nut jobs that they're going to be doing their own damn violent protests, <clears throat> destroying families in the process. It's like, have we lost our minds? Uh, I think that question has already been answered too many damn times by how many actions and reactions we've got going on right now as it is. And it's scary. One of these scary days, I'm going to be waking up. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And I'm going to be seeing how bad our our life is. How bad our life has already changed already. And if we're going to be if we're going to be going into something that we don't even realize anymore, it was bad enough. I'm hearing either from the independent media's or laughing their asses off or trying to let us know what's going on. That on some of these news clips that they're being talked about early in the morning, like on MSNBC and on CNN, they'll talk about the politicians and the idiots out there relate with them, are making comparisons that they're a religious icon or something like that. You know, They've said that we haven't been through this situation before, and they were damn right. Because back in the 60s, I was a little kid. I didn't know what the hell was going on. In the 70s, I'm watching this stuff on the news as I'm getting a little older, and I still don't understand what the hell is going on. But the problem is I'm not hearing politicians trying to force issues down people's throats or trying to force racism down people's throat left and right. Like I'm seeing the independents these days doing social media showing us what's happening 
with our elected officials, or our so-called elected officials, of making all these damn remarks, and you got these clips being played out left and right on YouTube on it. But they're trying to show how righteous they are with their own with their own old party, and they're showing what kind of what kind of human beings they really are. Lacking compassion, but more also just complete with idiocy. I don't know what the hell these guys are doing anymore. I really don't. And it rattles my cage because now I just don't understand the crap. I don't. Why are we having it within the past two or three decades? I haven't got a clue. Did it start off with just a birther certificate crap and ends up to this crap? We got Tea Party movement back in the 90s who wanted control over the Congress to say or do shit. And I don't know what their major malfunction was. Except they didn't like the funding for this, they didn't like the funding for that, and they wanted this and wanted that. And then you had a weird-ass caucus within the Republican Party going nuts over the damn thing. I never had heard of the Democratic Party over the past century or two had used these tactics before. Not, not, put, it in, not put in the press. It was just the Republican Party. Now, I understand that a long time ago. If I understand my history on this one. We had the Democrats called the Dixiecrats who wanted conservatism, who wanted things the way they should have been. You don't mess around with them. Their individuals, states have to take care of their own states, and nobody else can tell them what to do until we actually had a civil war happening. And what was it at the... Uh, turn of the century from the 19th to the 20th that the Republican Party had taken over the conservative point of view and the liberals the progressives had changed into the Democrats and they wanted more change for they wanted more change for the government more better of course yeah they wanted some more social programs the thing is so I kept trying to understand about the social programs. It comes out of your pocket and my pocket, too. People didn't want the Social Security. They wanted people to live on their, social, on their incomes and on their savings. The problem is when people stick the savings into the stock market, what the hell happened back in the uh, late 20s to the United States, not to mention to the world economy? So, soup kitchens left and right. That what the conservatives wanted? We could quite figure that shit out. That's why, that's, I think it was Hoover or Franklin, one of those two guys, actually decided to get the Social Security Act going, where we actually had a social safety net, that part of your savings that you sent, the taxes that you sent over to Uncle Sam, was going to be paying for you for the rest of life, just to stay alive. Of which a lot of us have either retired, got disabled, or both. Or depending upon, even these days, even me. It's not the easiest, not the greatest, but you know, it's still there. And all I kept hearing from the, uh, from the Republicans throughout the time is we need to cut Medicaid and Social Security. We need to cut Medicare and Social Security. We need to cut them, cut them, cut them. We need to privatize them. Well, you don't privatize government stuff like that. Money we put in there to help take care of us and you want to privatize? It'll be the most efficient thing. No, it won't. It'll be a thief. It's thiefdom. Take it out of my money. Take it out of my pocket. And they still have the hands saying, More, 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 more. I haven't got any more. I'll go destitute then. Anyway, it's illegal for you to be homeless. Throw you in a jail. Privatize. Ha ha ha. How's that grab you? Debtor's prison we have these days. 
for how many decades? Almost a century? You got debtor's prison. Maybe longer than that. If you're in debt, debtor's prison for you. Work it off. England had it. England had it. They had people put in prison because they couldn't pay the debts and they were poor. They stayed there unless they worked it off. They had money, had people trying to pay them to get the hell out of, uh, out of debt that way. Because now they have a lifelong indentured servitude going on. But we would have the same situation here, wouldn't we? Can't pay your bill? You don't get out of jail. You're stuck. Doesn't matter how long your trial is going to be lasting. Or actually before you get there, you're stuck in it. Because you're poor. You're homeless. If you didn't do anything wrong, maybe you get out on your own uh, own recognizance. And maybe there's a way of trying to get some kind of justice or something. I don't know. Now we got things happening that are threatening our freedom and people are going up in arms and they want to do they want to do violence. Let's be blunt about it. Because they got talked into it by their politicians who just want the action. They want to see people doing the stuff they themselves are too cowardly to do in the first place. They talk a game, and that's all they do. Because they want votes, they want power, they want money. And they'll take it out of you and blame you for it. Because you were too stupid to listen to them. That's how it is. That's why I've said in a lot of my videos, I blame voters. I don't blame the system, I blame the voters. They don't research, they don't pay attention, they don't give a shit. They want to give the power and everything else to the other guy and think he's going to be the savior for them all. It's a wonder some of these people have this kind of mesocentric uh, situation going on inside their damn skeevy skulls that these people mean something. They, they, they're representative of God. I'm like, oh, give me a frickin' break. Give me a frickin' break. Let me get some, let me get some priests to do some exorcism on these people. Because sure as hell, putting them in a, into a jail cells, or actually in a prison cells, ain't going to do it. And putting them in nut farms, well, they're already living in their own nut farms in the air. So we might as well see if their souls can be liberated from the inner demons they've got. So let's do some exorcism, shall we? Would that work? I don't know. You tell this one guy who'd have thought that being a federal employee was a rotten thing to be. Because you're working for an administration that his nut jobs thought he shouldn't have been working for. He was a traitor. Traitor to who? If we're going to say the orange gas bag number 45 again, I wouldn't put it past him anyway. Because now we've got this crap going on, don't we? Now people are screaming and yelling at each other. We're going to have Ragnarok. We're going to have Revelation Rhapsody. We're going to have something from Revelation coming in. We're going to blame these people because they're the apocalypse horsemen. Give me a freaking break. But other people will be crazy enough to believe in stuff. That's what they'll be doing. Going absolutely stark raving and singing on this damn shit. I'm sorry. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Someone else's insanity. I'm not buying. I'll keep my feet rooted and stayed here. But I am not dealing with someone else's mentality of telling me that I have to learn and live to be in their way because that's the only way. I'm saying on that one.
So if they want to tell me that I am a full of an idiot, hey, I already am a full of an idiot. I publicly acknowledge it. But I'm not going to have anybody else tell me that either I be this way or else I'm going to be non-existent. Again, bite me on that one. For that, I'm going back to bed, see if I can get some sleep, and then post this stuff a little bit later, probably in the afternoon, as soon as, as, soon as I see more stuff to get acid indigestion from.